Hi there, this is Paolo with Bark. In an earlier video, I showed you how to set up the Chrome and Edge extensions on your kid's Mac, Windows, or Chromebook computer. Today, we'll be setting up the Bark for Chromebooks app for an additional layer of protection. Let's get started. First, sign in to the Chromebook under the owner profile. Ideally, the owner profile would be you, the parent. This helps you lock down certain things from being tampered with. For example, click the time, click on settings, click accounts. Now click manage people. Here, you'll want to turn guest browsing off and restrict sign in to only your kid's email accounts. Remember these accounts. You'll need to repeat the Chromebook app setup steps for each one. Next, click the time again and click sign out. And this will return you back to the Chromebook login screen. Your kid won't be able to sign in with other accounts that circumvent Bark's protections by making these changes and you're in the driver's seat. By being the owner, you've locked down these settings from being adjusted by your child. So now let's sign in with your kid's email. They have multiple emails. Remember that you'll repeat these steps for each, but first pick one and we'll go through it. Now on the bottom left, click on the O icon or circle icon. Uh, click on Google Play. If there's no Google Play there, open settings and search for it. You may have to enable it. If it's not available for your kid's Chromebook, then they don't support the Bark for Chromebooks app. Now in the search bar of Google Play, we'll search for the Bark for Chromebooks app and then we'll install it. After it's installed, we'll click on open. Then pause here. Pull out your parent phone or parent computer and go to the Bark dashboard or parent app. Log in, tap on more, then tap on get device code and enter your kid's device code into the Bark for Chromebooks app. Now switching back to the kid's Chromebook, we're gonna allow all the prompts on the Chromebooks app. In the case of the VPN, you'll press okay. When prompted to open settings, tap on open settings. You'll want to turn Bark on here. Tap open settings when prompted again. Tap on permissions. Tap on location. And then select allow all the time. Tap the back arrow a couple times and you'll land on the Bark Kids app. Now we're gonna check a quick setting. Click on the bottom right time. Click on settings. Click on privacy and security. Then on security. And scroll down to secure DNS, or it might be called encrypt the names of sites you visit. We wanna make sure that is turned off. And once that's done, you can exit out of that section and we'll return to the Bark for Chromebooks app one last time. Click on the smiley face icon. This will take you to a specific page that makes it really convenient to connect your child's Gmail, Google Drive, and YouTube account. Since they all share the same Google login credentials your child is using for the Chromebook. It's very simple. You'll just click on Gmail, then it'll ask you what account you want to connect. You'll make sure that it is your child's Gmail account. And if they have multiple, you can add as many as you want by following these same steps again and repeating them with the different accounts they have. You'll even be able to see the accounts that they've connected at the top once you're done. Make sure to scroll down and add that same Gmail to Google Drive, to YouTube. It'll be the same steps. You just have to repeat them for those three because they're considered different platforms. And this ensures full coverage of monitoring of that Google account. Plus, it helps you finalize the connection between the Chromebook and Bark for other stuff, like the Chrome extensions that monitor inappropriate website visits and, and inappropriate searches. And that's it. You can close out of the Chrome browser. You can close out of the Bark for Chromebooks app. They'll be there working in the background for you, analyzing those photos and videos saved to your child's Chromebook and applying your screen time and filtering rules to the Chrome browsing. Check out our other videos for tips on our screen time controls. And if you have any additional questions about setting up your child's Chromebook with monitoring, filtering, or both, don't hesitate to reach out to us at help at bark.us.